everyone. It's time to take a look at our yeast test that we put together on December 12th of 2020. Today is March 28th of 2021. So it's been three and a half months. I realize that's a long time. I realize you're frustrated that part two, the result of the yeast test took that long. I'm frustrated too. There's so many things to do. Life got really busy, but as St. Thomas Aquinas once said, better late than never. So to recap, what we did was we took pomegranate cider that had an original gravity 1.070 and we inoculated three different batches with a different type of yeast. We used bread yeast, Premier Classic, and Lauben 71B, okay? Now to make this as close to science as I could, I have covered up the label which would tell me what yeast went in which one. I don't want to bias my perceptions thinking, oh, maybe bread yeast will be worse or maybe lava will be better. I'm just going to do it as blindly as I can to come to objective measurements of these things, folks. We're just going to creatively label it X, Y, and Z. What we want to do is test those yeast to see what difference they made to the pomegranate juice along three parameters. Parameter number one, final gravity. To what extent? was each yeast able to attenuate the fermentation. That's a fancy word of saying, was the yeast able to make the fermentation go completely dry? Was it able to eat up all of the sugar? We'll find out. Parameter number two, how does it taste? Number three, smell. Does one of them have a better aroma than another? Does one of them smell like hydrogen sulfide? Those are the three parameters along which we are going to test our three differently inoculated ciders, okay? So, gravity readings. Taking a gravity reading on Z first. I hate reading hydrometers. We'll go with 1.005. Gravity reading on Y, 1.005. Once again, fascinating. Okay, gravity reading on X. It's 1.005 as well. I'm not sure why all of them stop there. We're gonna theorize about that later. Moving on to the next parameter, smell. To recap, X, Y, Z. Okay, now I'm gonna go in reverse order again like last time, just because, why, why not? So, Z, what's it smell like? It smells good. It smells like pomegranate. It smells tangy sour, a good tangy sour, and no objectionable smells like hydrogen sulfide. Why smells less fruity immediately? There is, it, it smells more like alcohol. No hydrogen sulfide but it definitely smells more, not like vodka, but m closer to vodka than this one. Okay, now for X. X smells the least out of all of them. There, there are the fewest scents in X. Um, it, it smells closest to a Pinot Noir is what I'm getting. I know that's kind of, it's kind of strange but I'm not getting a lot of that tangy fruit pomegranate. Okay, interesting. So the next parameter, the most exciting one for me is taste. All right, Z. Oh my God, that tastes terrible. While Z had the best smell, it tastes very sour with very little pomegranate fruity flavor coming, coming out of it. I'm gonna drink water in between each one to cleanse my palate since I don't have any ginger. Now for why. This one's equally sour. There's a little bit more of like a metallic taste on the back of my tongue. And this too isn't super fruit forward. Yeah, it's definitely harsher than Z. X is my least favorite out of the three. Very sour like the rest. Even less fruity flavor. I'm gonna do some quick comparisons between them, like just sip it, sip the next one, see if I can get more direct one-to-one -one comparisons. This one tastes like more of a sour fruit flavor. This one tastes more like sour vinegar. These ones are difficult to distinguish, clearly. The Y and the Z, I'm sorry, yeah, the Y and the X. Between Z and Y, Z is a little more fruity. Y is just a little more aggressively sour. So let me guess which one's which. If I had to guess, I'd say Z is Lauben 71B. 
y is Premier Classic, and x is Bread Yeast. My intuition, the guiding principle of that guess, is that this one's the most fruity. Lab 171B is marketed to produce or preserve fruity esters, taste compounds. I think that X is the bread yeast because it's the worst. And so then by process of elimination, that leaves Y as Premier Classic. So now we're going to reveal. I've kept them in the same order over here. So Z is <laughs> Premier Classic. Okay. Why? Why is bread yeast? That means that X is Lauvin 71B. That is not, I don't like those results because those don't conform to my opinions I've already formed. That's too bad. <laughs> well, that's science for you. It doesn't care what you want to happen. So that's life. That's life. Things suck. Wow. I'm gonna have to process this for a while, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This was an, uh, pretty close to an objective scientific test. I mean, you, we need a lot more variables and we need to run this test like 30 different times to really get an objective idea. And I may do it again. I may design a different type of experiment to get a broader appreciation for the distinctions between yeast. My first conclusion is that the differences yeast make to the final product are subtle, okay? I did not taste three different wines here, or ciders, no. I tasted pretty similar pomegranate ciders with subtle differences in the taste. The smell was actually had more marked differences between them, right? Takeaway number two is that bread yeast is at least good for attenuating from 1.070, which was our original gravity, down to 1.005, which is, which is pretty good. You'll, you'll read people that say bread yeast just can't produce higher alcohols. I've seen it do it, it can do that. That being said, there is enough evidence that bread yeast is inferior to isolated wine yeast that I'm still sticking to that conclusion, even though this taste test results didn't exactly confirm that, this isn't enough to overturn the vast amount of literature and evidence out there, which suggests that specifically tailored wine yeasts are gonna produce a superior product. Because of the results of this test, I'm thinking this was just an, an outlier kind of result. I'd like to redo it, which I will. I don't know if I'll record another video on it, but I might. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being with me for these results that just were not what I was hoping for, but that's, that's science. That is science. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the meantime, watch more of my videos. Subscribe to this channel because it's awesome. Leave comments on suggestions for how you think I could have done this test differently. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.